Hello everyone, it's Venom Xenomorph, and welcome back to another Spring Trap video in Dead by Daylight. Now, today, we're going to be talking about something a little bit more different. I know that the last video and the first video kind of sounded the same, and the reason why was because I wanted to give more detail as to what I was talking about in the first ever Spring Trap Dead by Daylight video on the channel, which, by the way, has 22,000 views right now. It is insane how much you guys are supporting this and supporting the cause and just overall supporting my channel. We have grown so much thanks to you guys and it means a lot to me that you guys are subscribing and enjoying the content. And please, please keep that up because uh, the more we grow, the more I'm able to make more videos like this for you guys. So for today's video, we're going to go over some of the more basic stuff. Uh, we're going to recover survivors in Dead by Daylight, how different survivors would work, because I gained some new information that I had no idea about. Um, we're also going to go over different maps, because there were a few maps that were mentioned that I want to give more detail towards, uh, both in the books and in the games. Some of them would work in Dead by Daylight, and some of them wouldn't. And the last thing are perks. I realized that when I launched the last uh, Springtrap video, I had said in the uh, thumbnail, and I had said in the title, which I have changed the title now, that uh, I would talk about perks, and I didn't even mention perks. I just mentioned his ability and, like, what his ability could be, which one of the comments was that it wasn't really fleshed out enough. I completely understand, which is why I'm going to break it down right now. So, to properly explain my idea for Springtrap's ability, Springtrap's ability has been harnessed throughout his past experience both as William Afton and as uh, the man who's uh, the man who caused the slaughter and as the man who becomes Springtrap uh, he has gained an annuity for younger prey so he should be able to stalk his prey from a distance almost exactly like Michael Myers and or Ghostface build that up to a three tier bar once it reaches tier three just like michael myers he will begin a blind rage which will be best compared to the legion the way that he sprints faster he has no recovery time over his hits and can just constantly swing i i think that that would be the main focus of the ability is to charge up his stock long enough to be able to get that power in and then once he's at the end he begins to malfunction whether it be just his animatronic part coming out as like the original manufactured animatronic or whether it be the spring lock failures it was a brilliant idea by you guys in the comments mentioning that the spring locks are still not entirely safe in that spring trap suit and that it could hurt him at any time in any given moment so i completely agree that if he is to be stunned at the end of his ability just like the nurse he should be stunned somehow whether or not it's through regular means of manufacturing or the actual spring locks causing him pain i feel like it would be kind of gory uh similar to how the plague kind of throws up blood it would be kind of gory to just watch him like start bleeding for some reason and stalling and bleeding and like kind of coughing up blood i think it would be really dark but it would also fit dead by daylight very well in terms of survivors, I was given a bit more information about Michael Afton and his involvement in the franchise, and I'm starting to realize that Michael really is the main protagonist of the games. I feel that I need to take back something that I said in my last video, which was that there's no way he could be considered due to his uh, corruption by Ennard. However, someone brought up a fair point in a comment, and I apologize real quick right away before I continue mentioning other people's comments. There are so many comments that have plowed through over the past three days. That's literally how fast this stuff has caught wildfire on my channel, is three days. And uh, I, I can't find everybody's comments. I see them, and I read them, and I like them, and I reply, but I can't... I can't find them again because like another 200 comments stack them up. So I'll remember what you say. I just I apologize if your idea is mentioned and I don't directly involve you. It's it's not it's not really in my control. Um, if I pinned every comment, I'd just be replacing it over and over again. So I would still lose them. But one of the comments had mentioned that Michael technically died 
uh, after uh, Ennard scooped him, and that the Michael that was left behind was a different Michael. Uh, not in terms of him being a different person, but his entire personality changing uh, completely. Please note, at in uh, Five Nights of Freddy's, or Five Nights at Freddy's 6, or Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, uh, we only see Freddy and Baby as individual animatronics. And we never saw Ballora. We never saw Funtime Foxy. So those, I think, in terms of those two animatronics, I think they're still in Michael's corpse. I think they aren't letting go. I think that they don't want to lose the body regardless of how it looks and how it's no longer fitting with the plan. They need something, right? They need a shell. And I think that that purple guy is wandering around. But that's that's a fine, it's a phrase theory. That's not what you're here for. Someone had mentioned in the comments that Michael, after his scoop and invasion of Ennard, died. Actually is dead. And um, his soul could easily be saved in a way only to be perpetually tormented by the entity the the michaels the michael afton that we know and love from the entire franchise gains a new life within the entity in a way that is complete hell but he knows this animatronic very well he knows his father very well and it gives him a complete opportunity to just outsmart the entity and outsmart his father around every corner it is this kind of stuff that makes michael afton a supreme survivor compared to charlie uh it it allows there to be a true enemy situation and just a true separation of uh familial bond it, it just to me thanks to you guys in the comments have you have revealed to me that Michael Afton is a new candidate for the survivor role. And I thank you guys for that. I thank you guys for opening my eyes to that. Uh, it means it means a lot uh, to change my opinion like that. Most people aren't able to. I'm kind of egotistical on that. But let me move on from the survivor. So Michael Afton would be a really great candidate. Each skin would probably be a different uniform based on the different games. Uh, including a scooped version would probably be really interesting. Like, like I had mentioned in the previous video of just a gaping hole showing entered inside. Like that kind of stuff would be really interesting to me. Now, in terms of maps, there are a lot of you that said that a Fazbear, Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria Simulator map would work, allowing the devs to kind of make their own pizzeria. I agree in a way but i also feel like i also feel like it's going to be missing some stuff if we just let the dead by daylight developers just kind of pick whatever they want in a pizzeria map uh i feel like it's going to be too loose if it's something more grounded to the games like the original location of fred bear's family diner or uh the original freddy fazbear's pizza or even as i had mentioned in the previous video circus baby's pizza world is a perfect candidate for a map like this it's big it is scary it is there are surprises around every corner there can be cameos of animatronics uh in the books circus baby's pizza world had a few different horrifying inhabitants in it it had mangle uh or funtime foxy and mangle in the books at least were the same character now we can't assume anything from the games the lore is not entirely put together but it is a safe bet that funtime foxy and mangle are the same animatronic so it is a fair bet to say then that mangle or funtime foxy with his abilities to stretch and contort himself into the mangle uh would be a very intimidating like just thing to see drop down in front of you in the vents or just be able to do other things and Funtime Freddy, would none of these, by the way, would cause an actual threat. Only Springtrap. But Funtime Freddy would also be an interesting animatronic to have in the mirror maze, like in the books. Where he's kind of glitching when he talks, and he's like, <laughs> Hello in there! And everything like that. It, it would be really cool to have animatronic kind of cameos within the, within the map. I think it would be really interesting like that. Now... 
the last the last few things I want to go over are Springtrap's perks and his Mori. Uh, I haven't covered his Mori yet in any of my videos, and I mentioned it a lot in the comments as to what I want his Mori to be, and I'm happy to share it with you guys. So, in terms of his perks, I have three in mind. Uh, the first perk is obviously the one that I've mentioned over the past videos, where dropping pallets are resistant to him. Uh, it was inspired both by a commenter here and someone just being willing you know to like share their ideas and everything like that and it inspired me to kind of upgrade it a, a little bit so spring trap should allow his perk to match his ability i feel like that stalking thing if if he really does go into a mad rage and just start swinging and like attacking whoever's in front of him right I feel like it should just aggravate him more and make him more crazy with every pallet dropped. So, for every pallet that's dropped, not only does it become more resistant to pallet drops until it resets, but he then be he then gets his ability a little bit faster. His bar gets automatically filled based on how many pallets are dropped on him. I feel like that kind of stuff would really make him an intimidating killer and a little bit more strong in a way because i feel like springtrap while he may be fast during his blind rage he has to be slow uh in like normal mode he has to he has to be limping he has to be in pain it's the only way to it's the only way to properly do springtrap considering that his entire innards have been smashed apart by sharp robotic pieces of glass and sheer steel um as for his second perk, his second perk would probably have something to do with the Puppet, or Golden Freddy, or some sort of kind of phantom animatronic, even if it's the ones from the third game. Uh, I feel like he, as, as mentioned by one of you guys in the comments, he should be able to put fake suits across the restaurant. Uh, not as part of his ability, just part of the perk. You should be able to put fake stuff around the restaurant, and in exchange be able to jump scare the survivors and be able to notify him where they are uh this could work for literally any killer uh the animatronic part would be a little weird maybe replace it with presents because then it can match the clown uh but the, in terms of the in terms of the lore and story of the suits that has to be specific to springtrap but presents or something would definitely work at the same time uh, but it would be a jump scare notification, so it would scare them as if the doctor was shocking you and make you scream and notify you where they are. Uh, it would be a really creative way of getting around that, I think. His last ability would probably be, as you guys have begged in the comment section for a perk to be called by the devs, I always come back, which would be involving his speed. Uh, I feel like springtrap while he's limping and while he's running in a blind rage i feel like there are a lot of other factors to springtrap and one of them should probably have to do with the exit gates if an exit gate is opened or touched i feel like he should have the ability to get a sort of adrenaline rush a thrill of a hunt if you will and run faster and be stronger you know like like he, he should be able to one shot he should be able to run and like i feel like he should be able to be overall way stronger now that the the adrenaline is pumping and the odds are stacked against him i feel like he knows he's in charge and that he can make it you know um now in terms of other stuff such as uh maury's and everything i have another solution for that as well a lot of people were suggesting in the comments that he should put the survivors in spring lock suits and i feel like that wouldn't work as a Mori because it'd be too fast acting uh, compared to how the Springlock suits actually work. I think that if they're going to properly work, it needs to be an ability. Similar to Pyramid Head's Cage of Atonement, where you're just trapped. You're trapped in the suit and you're trying to get out and you're doing skill checks. And every time you fail a skill check, it closes in on you like a Springlock just snaps and it stabs into you. That kind of stuff would be really cool. In terms of a Mori, my current idea is Springtrap jump scares you. 
like he does in the games. It will be the first ever first person on the survivor perspective, Mori. And at the end, there's the static uh, indicating that you've died. And then it just says uh, killed or something like that, right? I think that would be really cool. It would give justice to the games. It would allow Springtrap to be more vicious and like kind of terrifying. And it would terrify the players. It would make him a really scary killer to go against. Because I feel like the issue with killers these days is that while when they first come out, they become scary. Everyone finds a strategy and everyone goes kind of against them. And they figure them out. And the Moris and everything get boring and everything like that. When you get something like a jump scare into a Mori, like with Springtrap, like I'm suggesting, it becomes interesting. There's a twist. You can do variations of the Mori. So, like, one jump scare is, like, from behind, and the other jump scare is from in front or from the side or something, you know? Change it up a little bit. Make it interesting. Vary it. Because that would be really interesting to me. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, so we just covered Michael Afton's involvement as a good survivor, uh, Circus Baby's Pizza World as the most likely map, and uh, the three perks that I personally would like to see on Springtrap as well as the Mori. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below in terms of what you want to see from Springtrap. Please keep that coming. Keep supporting the channel and signing that petition. We are nailing that petition. P petition petition into the ground we are doing phenomenally and every chip in helps every every signature helps we are going to get spring trap into dead by daylight i just know it and if we don't feel free feel free to rip on me in the comments or at least keep signing the petition and keep trying because i'm sure they will listen to us at some point because honestly looking back on all the different killers that have been announced as theoretical killers like pennywise pinhead hellraiser like that kind of stuff um candy man uh the only one that's made it so far is pyramid head and the only reason why is because he is grounded creatures like pennywise and candy man that have unlimited abilities uh would not have justice if they were limited why do you think people hate Freddy Krueger so much? Why are there so many memes about Freddy Krueger? It's because his abilities are so limited. Uh, he could turn into a giant snake, I think, was one of the things they turned into in the original movie. Uh, it, it, he could do whatever he wants. Same with Pennywise. But you can't, you can't transfer that into a game properly without him being too overpowered. So Springtrap being as limited as he is, just a man in a suit in constant pain... A child murderer ready to get the next kill regardless of who it is. It's that kind of stuff that makes him more likely and more eligible as the next killer in Dead by Daylight. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if you guys have better ideas. Please keep the support coming. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a like, subscribe down below, and hit that notification bell if you want to see more content like this. And always sign that petition. Always make sure... Because the set goal that you may see when you sign the petition, that is never set. As soon as we hit that number, the goal will go up. So please keep getting your people to sign. Keep sharing. Everything like that. Just keep the support coming. And uh, I'm very thankful for you guys. Thank you for all the support. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye!